Curtis Ashford is coming home. The General Hospital recap for August 28, 2023, has Curtis deciding to listen to his aunt Stella. In this episode, Portia wept while Curtis made a monumental decision. Jocelyn tried to give advice to Trina about her family problems. Carly tried to get Diane to do something totally unethical. Gregory and Finn expressed their man pain to Alexis and Elizabeth, respectively. And finally, Lucy had a bone to pick with Marty, while Anna tried to get information out of Robert. Now, let's dig a little deeper into the details. Sad sack Portia, Brooke Kerr, told Marshall, Robert Gossett, that she heard Curtis, Donald Turner, was to be released from rehab the next day, but she only heard it from the rehab director and not Curtis. Marshall tried to explain Curtis's actions were from love and a desire not to feel pity. Stella, Vernie Watson, paid Curtis a visit in rehab and was not happy to hear that he wanted to go home so soon. She just wanted him to face his hurt and feelings. Stella told him that God gave him an obstacle and he needed to be up for the challenge. Curtis just argued that God's timing was all off. Stella urged Curtis to allow Portia in because she loved him unconditionally. She just wanted Curtis to stop rejecting his loved ones. Stella's words must have worked because as Portia commiserated with Trina, Tabian Ali, Curtis called to tell his wife that he was coming home. Earlier, Jocelyn, Eden McCoy, took a break from working at Kelly's to sit with Trina and have a chat. Trina was still a wreck about the state of things between Portia and Curtis, so Jocelyn tried to offer some advice. Trina blamed herself for treating Portia so badly when she learned the truth about her paternity and being mad at Curtis for kissing Jordan. For some reason, she believed that Portia's anger about Curtis kissing Jordan had something to do with Trina, and maybe if she hadn't been so angry, they would have reunited sooner. Joss assured her that wasn't true and rightly told her that Portia and Curtis were adults and responsible for their own actions. It turned out Carly, Laura Wright, really liked working in a diner and told Diane, Carolyn Hennessy, all about it. She couldn't even believe how down-to-earth and nicer customers were. Carly took advantage of Diane's visit to ask her to help get Drew, Cameron Matheson, out of Pentonville, but Diane wasn't hopeful that she could accomplish that. Carly wanted to judge shop since insider trading didn't get her in enough trouble. Diane explained to her that wouldn't work out well, but Carly didn't seem to care. She was in disbelief when Diane suggested Drew just finish his sentence. Carly was not about to go for that and suggested she see if Robert could help find them a new judge. When Robert, Tristan Rogers, walked in, Carly was more for her idea than ever Elizabeth, Rebecca Herbst, found Finn, Michael Easton up on the roof trying to process the information Gregory gave him the night before. He realized Gregory told Liz what was going on so he opened up about his feelings. Liz tried to be a comfort for him and urged him to take advantage of the time he had left with his father, Christina, Kate Mansi, stopped by Alexis's, Nancy Lee Gran office to explain why she ignored her when she saw her at the Metro court pool. She thought she needed to stay out of Molly's, Brooke and Smith surrogate process, considering how Molly feels about her sister of late. Alexis told her she liked the surrogate when Gregory interrupted them. So, Christina left so Gregory and Alexis could talk all about Finn and Gregory's ALSA as soon as Lucy, Lynn Herring, saw Marty, Michael E. Knight, at the NC pool. She threw a drink in his face in anger. She demanded to know why Marty was keeping his $50,000 payouts a secret from her. Marty denied everything, but Lucy knew he was lying. Finally, he had to confess that, yes, an ex-wife was keeping him in the lap of luxury. Lucy now knew why Marty wouldn't marry her, but Marty thought Lucy didn't want to get married. Lucy told Marty he never should have believed he didn't want to marry, but he wanted to know how she got the info on his alimony. Lucy confessed to the whole Pine Valley Jackson Montgomery caper and told Marty to tell his third wife he was done with the alimony. Anna, Finola Hughes, and Robert met up at the pool to top all things pikemen. Anna asked Robert to use his connection and find out if Valentin, James Patrick Stewart, was still on pikemen's payroll. Anna didn't believe that Valentin was the one who burned down her house, but she knew he was lying about quite a few things. Robert wanted to know why Anna couldn't confront Valentin directly. Just then, Valentin showed up. So Robert left 
and Anna did her best not to give away that she couldn't trust her boyfriend. However, when Valentin saw Marty, he took him aside and told him to get it done. Whatever it is.